Good morning, it's Dr. James. Hey, I am so excited to see you this morning. Thanks for showing up. Thank you for your time and thank you for your energy. This is gonna be so much fun this morning. We're gonna play a little game and the game is gonna be about you thinking about a word that I share with you and seeing what images it may bring up for you. Are you ready? I know it may be early you're going, oh man, just go ahead and just give me something not to think about. Well, not this morning. You and I are gonna think about a word that I'm positive is gonna bring up some very interesting energy for you and potentially some very interesting people for you. Are you ready? The word is eccentric, eccentric. Now, when you think about that word, does it bring up a certain image? Does it bring up a certain person? <laughs> I'm getting completely self-conscious. You may be going, yeah, James, it brings up you, by the way. Well, here's what I want you to think about. The word eccentric, and I was reading this morning, and I was looking at a study around the greatest achievers of the world, the ones who have just, they've created a ruckus, they've disrupted mediocrity, they are the ones that people were ridiculing and they were calling eccentric. And there's a wonderful Greek root to the word eccentric, it's ekentros. Don't you love my Greek? <laughs> I mean, A-E-K-K-E-N-T-R-O-S, ekentros, which basically means away from the center away from the center. So as you were possibly thinking about different people, different experiences, different movements that have been created by the people who are eccentric, here's the wonderful thing, and I'm gonna give you this beautiful image of what eccentric means. Here is the world, and here is the middle of the world. Here is conformity, here is group think, here is average, here potentially in the middle, mediocrity. Most everyone. And this isn't a judgment or a diminishment, but it's just human nature. Most people gravitate towards the middle. And in the middle, we think about the same old things. We think about the same things that other people in the middle are thinking about. And oftentimes, in the middle, we experience average. We experience mediocrity. We're experiencing nothing extraordinary. However, when we live the world of an eccentric, when we are participating and demonstrating and being an eccentric, you're gonna love this. We move away from the center, and here, here's me, or <laughs> here's you, I know it's you too. Here's us, we're out here, and they talk about this in a beautiful way from the Greek, deviating from conformity, being unusual with your zeal, on a journey that is honoring one's soul knowing. Oh, don't you love that? Honoring one's soul knowing and then presenting to the world an outsider's perspective and an opportunity, an invitation to be brand new. An opportunity to be brand new. What I love about the word eccentric is that Steve Jobs was an eccentric to many people. Albert Einstein was an eccentric. All the most amazing people who have created extraordinary things in this world, they were deemed as eccentric. And the beautiful thing that you and I can consider, if right here and right now you're going, man, everybody, everybody in this place right here, you know, they're talking about the news, they're talking about politics, they're talking about stuff and they're complaining or they're just kind of doing the same old, same old. They're not creating anything extraordinary. They're not stepping out of mediocrity. They're participating in average. Well, you know what? Let's not judge this experience because this is normal. But if you're not interested in normal, and you're not interested in participating in conformity, and you wanna be a part of the journey and the invitation to extraordinary, we get a chance to be out here demonstrating the responsibility to be fully awake and fully alive. And this little arrow can go back the other way because what studies are showing, there's something called emotional contagion. When we're living out here and we're rocking our world and we're just extraordinary and expressing our gifts and our talents with no ego, just soulful energy and soulful knowing, this becomes a beacon of hope. And we send back this energy and they go, whoa, I love a smiling person out here who is leading an extraordinary life, an example of opportunity and zeal and just extraordinary zealous love and a commitment to creating an extraordinary life. Eccentric, think about it. Let's you and I stay out here and let's show up for everyone back here and potentially we move the world in a way that says, 
we deviate from conformity and our unusual zeal, our zealous knowing, and the journey to greatest possibility, moving away from the center, moving away from mediocrity, is the way of creating a life that we love. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going outside. I'm moving away from the center. And I'm going to meet you there because I know that's where you are too. Much love, deep appreciation, and uh, oh gosh, an essential honoring of who you are in this life. Peace and love. Take care. Bye-bye.